What's up? It's Tyler here with Half Past Two. Curtis over here. Just finished tracking for the four song EP that we were working on in a, as you can see, a, uh, a spacious garage in the heart of Lake Elsinore. Today, this is my secret weapon. It is, uh, let's see, let, let's go over this. This is a Sony CFM 140. It's got two whole bands, radio, and most importantly, tape if it opens and the world's best built-in microphone. So we're sampling some of Curtis's drums, get some awesome, awesome cassette tape saturation on it, and then we're gonna resample them for, for some, some killer, killer drum tones. Isn't that right, Curtis? That's right, Tyler. Today we've got, we've got a pretty fun drum setup. As you can see, it looks, this is it in all its glory. Um, we're running everything to the snake down here, and then the snake is actually going through that door with that beautiful taping on it, all the way up to uh, Anthony's uh, a bedroom upstairs, and then that's going to our control room. We've got two overheads. They are both AKG C100Ss, so they give us nice uh, stereo separation. And then if we're going down here, we'll just start with the kick. Um, Curtis is too cool to have any sort of hole in his kick drum, so we just resonance. Is, resonance. For resonance. That means I can't put anything inside it, but I just decided to put a Beta 52 on the outside. Then, if you come over here for the floor tom... Look, I have a chastity belt on my kick drum. He's got it, that's right, you heard it first. Chastity Can't belt on the kick drum. We got some moon gels and an AKG D112 um, to get some of that, that low girth that uh, Ska is known for. And then over here on the snare, we've got a... This is your stock 57. Notice two pieces of moon gel, that's how important this snare is. And on the bottom, I don't know if you can dip down here, but we've got an awesome, uh, I don't know what it is, but it's a super old Shure. They use them primarily in grocery stores for the PA systems. Uh, we've got that on the bottom to get that real kind of trashy sound. Um, of course, you've got your obligatory red stripe down here for the drummer. Um, and then over to the hi-hat, we have a Shure SM7. Um, and then we're back over to here to the Rack Tom where we've got a, uh, a Sennheiser uh, 421. So good times over there. Curtis, were you happy with the drum sound that we got today? You know, I was very happy with the drum sound. Pretty much my DWs sound good no matter what situation I use them in, any, any studio. DW is a great sounding drum. I love the snare drum. It's a six and a half by 14. All maple. Great drum sound. And uh, over here, he's, he's, we actually put this crack on it to give it extra sizzle. Isn't that right, Curtis? Yeah, that's right. We, we just went up to it with a hammer. Because, sizzle. Uh, that's, that's the half past two cent right there. Crack. One L-shaped crack. You know why? Can't see it. You can't see it. But that's, because I'm too cheap to buy new symbols, that's why. There you go. So, if anyone out there wants to uh, start a Kickstarter account for Curtis to replace symbol form that would be awesome. So that's pretty much our drum sound today. Next we're moving on to most likely bass, so we'll keep you posted on that. If you're lucky by the time it's done, you'll have your very own brand new four song half past two LP. Alright, see you soon. Later guys.